I'm starting to see a pattern here. That's a phrase we all know and maybe use ourselves sometimes. It captures this joyful or sometimes annoying moment when you recognize a regularity in a random bulk of impressions in data. The second season of most Netflix shows is the best. You canceled on me for the third time at the last moment. Well, I'm starting to see a pattern. But what exactly are patterns and how do we perceive them? These are questions that cognitive scientists study, for instance, by looking at what happens in the brain of people that recognize patterns. But pattern recognition is a cultural phenomenon as well. It has to do with our habits of perception and with the significance we assign to patterns. Not all patterns matter, and our fascination for them is shaped by what they mean to us. My name is Stefan Besser. I'm a cultural and literary scholar. In my research project, The Promise of Patterns, I study what makes patterns so appealing in contemporary culture, the culture of the 21st century. Look at these metal structures behind me, for instance. They were created last year in 2020 by design studio CHEP as ventilation vents for the Spandamer Tunnel here in Amsterdam West. You can probably see that they consist of metal plates in the form of triangles, so you recognize the pattern. And maybe they remind you of pieces of origami art, pattern recognition again. And if you look more closely, you can see that the steelwork of the plates consists of filigree patterns that look like microscopic images of leaves, organic patterns. So what do these patterns mean? For me, they evoke a sense of connectedness because they mirror nature and technology. When you look from a right angle, you can see that the organic patterns of the plates merges visually with the branches of the trees around. So nature is visually connected to culture by patterns. The British anthropologist Gregory Bateson thought about this feeling of connectedness in the 1970s. He observed that patterns are everywhere, in nature and in culture. You can see patterns in cells and organisms, in leaves, but also in language, in dance, the arts, and so forth. Bateson coined a phrase for the ability to appreciate this universal patternedness of the world, the pattern that connects. For Bateson, the pattern that connects was essential for an ecological way of thinking that embeds human beings in their natural environments and in the biosphere as so well. These vents, I think, appeal to this wish, to this desire to see patterns as proof of a profound connection of nature and culture. One could almost forget that they actually function as outlets for the emissions from the cars in the tunnel here underneath. But something else is in the mix here as well, something that is not directly visible, and that's the digital. These vents were designed with the help of so-called parametric software. That is software that is able to construct very complex shapes, forms and patterns that human architects alone would have trouble to design and construct. As a matter of fact, the organic forms that we see in many new buildings these days is actually a stylistic feature of computer-generated architecture. So, what does this mean for the pattern that connects, the unity that Bateson talked about? Is the digital a part of this unity as well? Or do we now see the emergence of a new world of digital patterns beyond the human? beyond nature, a world that in the end might exclude and replace humans. Well, this is exactly what some cultural critics fear. The best-selling author and historian Yuval Noah Harari, for instance, believes that our world is not taken over by dataism. Supercomputers and digital networks are able to recognize patterns far beyond the capacity of the human mind, and they profoundly change our world. Think of the super-fast trading algorithm at the stock exchange, or of face recognition software and social media that is used for surveillance and profile. In the end, Harari predicts humanity will be reduced to just a tiny ripple in this cosmic data stream. Well, I think this is nothing that we should blame these beautiful vents for. And to be honest, I'm also not quite convinced by Harari's doom scenario. But it shows that patterns evoke fear as well as desire. That's a signify connection and disjunction, ecology and digitization. And this, of course, are two key concerns of our time. Therefore, I think we should learn to see patterns as a cultural phenomenon that talks about these fears and desires, and ultimately about our worldviews. In particular today, when pattern recognition is everywhere, all around us, in digital networks, but also here in this new urban environment in Amsterdam.